Hello everybody, welcome again uh, here in the kitchen of Castello Vicchio Maggio. My name is Delfina and today we are going to make nudi with ricotta and spinach. Nudi means naked because it's the feeling of the ravioli without the dough. Uh, they have a very rustic and cozy look, like the smile of my grandmother. The ingredients are 300 grams of spinach, and you can see big leaves, uh, 200 grams of ricotta, uh, 20 grams of parmesan cheese, orange, one spoon of flour, one egg, extra virgin olive oil, pinch of salt and pinch of pepper. We start with the spinach, we wash them and we boil for around 20 minutes in hot, salted water. We drain the spinach. We squeeze them very well and then we chop. the spinach we pour in a big bowl like this we add the spoon big spoon of flour few drops of extra virgin olive oil pinch of pepper pinch of salt ricotta we start to mix a little bit we add now the egg and parmesan cheese we're going on with the mixing. This is very comfort food. Today here in Greven County is a grey day. It's raining a little bit and so we stay at home and we enjoy our new dish. We add the skin of our orange a little bit and we're going on with the mixing. The mixture is ready. And now we are going to make the shape to our nudie. It's very easy, but it needs a little bit of practice and patience. And so we take the wooden surface, we dust a little bit with our flour, and we start to make a small bowl. Usually the right size is like this, is a, a nut size. We roll it and we're going on with all of the other. They knew they are ready. We boil them for a couple of minutes in hot salted water. While they are boiling, we warm up a little bit of butter together with the sage. The nudi start to flow up and so they are ready. We rinse out. We pour warm butter and sage on our nudi for decoration and more aroma at the plate. If you would like, we can pour a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I hope that you enjoy this uh, recipe. Uh, if you would like, you can follow me on uh, YouTube, Delfina Kitchen and Wines, Story and Recipe from Castello Vicchio Maggio. Buon appetito!